So we need to determine which matrices are in reduced echelon form and which uh, are in echelon form. Uh, let's start with matrix A. Here we can see that uh, um, that leading entry each in each non-zero row is one. So as you can see here, the first the leading entry is one, the leading entry is one, the leading entry is one. Uh, and each leading one is the only non-zero entry in its column. So in this column, um, in this column there is only one, uh, only, only one one <laughs> in this column. There are the rest of the entries are zeros, and in this column the rest of the entries are zeros. So that means that matrix A is in reduced row echelon form. So it's a reduced row echelon form. Form. Now let's look at, matri at matrix B. Uh, so, uh, so according to the definition, the matrix is in its echelon form only, because as you can see, uh, the, there are also uh, all all uh, leading all leading non-zero entries uh, in non-zero rows are one. However, there are several ones in the columns, as you can see here. Uh, and that means that this is just echelon form. Echelon form. Okay, now let's look at, uh, um, at part C. Uh, as you can see, in part C, we have uh, one entry, which is five. And that means that matrix is not in echelon form and it's not in reduced row echelon form either. So it's not echelon form and it's not reduced echelon form. 